They said, we're going to have the numbers yesterday. Said, okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, dear saints. Dear saints, this video is intended for the body of Christ, and if someone else wants to watch, fine. That's whatever. We're going to address something that has been gnawing at me here lately. Um, get Please get your authorized version of the scripture. Uh, this is not going to be that long of a video, but we are going to be touching on something that's just irritating me to no end. Uh, please get your authorized version of the scriptures. Please read along with me, word for word, verse by verse, at the scriptures we will be looking at and contemplating today. Read along with me, be a Berean, search the scriptures daily, whether these things be so. Read along with me, because I, my mouth goes quicker than my brain, and my brain goes quicker than my mouth. Okay? Sometimes. All right. Read along with me. Check this out. Recently, the past month or whatever, so... Have you on YouTube, and, and, and getting really sick of YouTube, but it is what it is. Here, here we are. Have you ever come across some of these prank videos? More so, these prank videos between a supposed husband and wife. Okay? Have you ever come across some of these? And you know, this is not just relegated to man and woman. Even the sodomite couples do this kind of stuff. What am I talking about? I, I have been sent and I have seen some of these prank videos where a husband or a wife will prank each other. Uh, for example, uh, they will pretend that they like the husband will pretend that he's talking to another woman or the uh, or the husband or the wife will pretend that she's talking to another man flirtatiously on either end and they will um, deceive and lie to one another for the for the sake of entertainment man okay um, I've seen some of these where uh, like they'll they'll send each other uh, like the, from another phone send pictures of uh, scandally dressed like ladies or men on their phone like the, the one uh, woman was getting um, photos of, uh, of a guy barely dressed and the husband purposely saw it to make him jealous to irritate him so they could get the reaction of their spouse have you ever seen any of these and what happens your, your flesh is like <laughs> But it's like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Have, have you seen any of these? They're, they're revolting. They are revolting. They are disturbing. They are grotesque and disgusting. And people, you know, you leave a comment and, they, and people tell you, you know, you're, uh, what is it, you're too serious or, you know, you're too extreme. Uh, it's like, it's just a joke, just a joke. Just a joke. Just a joke. Yeah. Antagonizing your spouse, if you're a husband, antagonizing your wife, who you are to love as your own self, and the wife, who may be antagonizing her husband, who she is to uh, reverence, with what? Filthy photographs? Uh, the, I, I saw one where a, uh, a guy got a mannequin, put it in uh, their bed, and then the wife comes home, and then uh, the, the husband goes to the door uh, of their bedroom, locked it. I'm, I'm not giving you any links. I don't want to subject any of you to this. But this is what's going on, okay? The, the husband guy goes to the door. The wife is like, hey, let me in. Why did you lock the door? Uh, the husband opens up the door, and the wife sees the mannequin in the bed, and the, man, and the wife's like, what's this? What's this? And goes and tries to see what it is. And it's a mannequin. And the husband's like, ha, 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 It's funny, huh? That's funny. Proverbs 28, verse 5. Just one verse to start. 
Evil men understand not judgment. But they that seek the Lord understand all things. See, these people, they are their own God. And evil is good and good is evil. There's no shame to anything. If I would have... If, and I, I talked to my wife about this yesterday. Uh, if I... Number one, I would never do anything wicked like that. But if I were to pull a prank like that on my wife, you know what she'd do? She'd go get my 357 and say, hey, okay? There'd be bloodshed, okay? Then it's like, what, what kind of a mind thinks this kind of thing? You already know the answer to that. You already know the answer to that. They understand not judgment. Evil men understand not judgment. That's why you see so many of these Christians, when we as saints be like, uh, hey, look, we, we all make mistakes. We all, we don't all sin, but uh, uh, <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, you, you, here, here, let me show you. It's like, don't judge me. Don't judge me. It's a reflex defensive action to defend their sin every single time. Every single, without, without exception. Without exception. Don't judge me. It's a reflex defensive action to defend sin. And you run into that with, you know, with Christians a lot. A lot. And Christian couples pranking each other like that? It's absurd. Well, you know... What's going on? You know, you go to Proverbs 14. Go to Proverbs 14. Okay? Proverbs 14. Proverbs 14, verses 7 on verse 10. Go from the presence of a foolish man. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. But see, the fool who says in his heart, there is no God, What's in place of that? Themselves. We know this, right? Go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. Someone sp bata, 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 sp speaking to justify sin. Okay? Go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. The wisdom, fear of the Lord, of the prudent is to understand his way. Understand his way to depart from evil. Okay? You see wisdom and you see understand there. Okay? But the folly of fools is deceit. The folly. The folly. You're just fooling around, right? It's, a, it's just a joke. It's just a prank. Just a prank, yeah. You're being too serious. It's like, wow, man, why don't you take it easy? They're just having fun, huh? Yeah, they're just having fun, yeah. Fools make a mock at sin. But among the righteous, there's favor. <laughs> the heart knoweth his own bitterness. And a stranger doth not into metal with his joy. And, and you look at uh, Proverbs 18, one verse, verse 2, Proverbs 18, one verse, verse 2, a fool, who says in his heart there is no God, delight, a fool hath no delight in understanding, no delight in departing from evil. Why? Because a fool makes a mock at sin. Oh, I'm just joking. Okay. Yeah, I sent from another hell phone to the one I use pictures of a naked woman and purposely let my wife find them so I could film, film for everyone to see her reaction. And that's cute. That's funny. That's funny. Huh? 
That's funny. What what kind of man does that? A lost man. A man who says in his heart there is no God. A man who calls evil good and good evil. A man never were women 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 do the same thing. I, I've seen it in these disgusting prank videos. Okay? Oh, they're, they're, they're just joking. They really love each other. Hey, you know what? I'll give them that. They might love one another in the, the worst bizarre kind of love there is, but it's like, again, again, I would never do this, but okay, let's say I take my tablet and I send to my health phone pictures of a naked woman and I let my wife see them or find them purposely, all the while purposely recording her reaction to share it on YouTube. Purposely hurting, offending my wife for the sake of entertainment. Huh? You know, some of these uh, prank people who do this kind of stuff, and you call they they <laughs> like that. <laughs> you call them out on that. You, they don't. You, you'll get blocked. <laughs> you'll get blocked. So if you're going to make a comment on one of these prank video people, make, you use scripture and make sure it's good. <laughs> okay? Let the Lord guide you. You know, but then again, with a lot of these people, you're casting your pearls before swine. But it's like, this, the one dude, it's like, how could you call that funny? Okay? Entertaining? Sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's entertaining. Entertaining is all about flesh, huh? Yeah, it's entertaining. But, but, in reality, in reality, like I said, I would never do this. I'm just giving the example. If I were to do, to, to do even the smallest kind of thing that some of these idiot prankster people do to my wife, if I were to do that, my wife would kill me, okay? <laughs> All right? My, my wife would bludgeon me. To that. No, she wouldn't. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, okay? That... This, it's, this, this is the mentality of people. This is evil, good, and good, evil personified. Okay? Personified. Purposely irritating, gnawing, scratching, um, uh, aggravating your spouse so you could record their reaction and put it on YouTube. And then you get the little gold plaques and the little silver plaques from YouTube. Like, hey, you make videos antagonizing your wife or husband. And people love it, so we're going to reward you. <laughs> A fool hath no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. And today is the what? The 28th, right? And of course, uh, <laughs> Proverbs 28, uh, verse, uh, what is that? 26. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. The fool says in his heart there is no God except themselves. Okay? But whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. I've seen some of these videos where the husband will watch porn purposely and then have a little hidden camera there and then the wife comes up and then he's like pretending like oh oh I didn't watch it and the, the, the wife the poor wife has a conniption fit and holding back tears and then you know all kinds of stuff happen and then the, the wife wants to see it wants to see it. it's like why are you watching this kind of nonsense okay and then the husband at the end of it Gives her a hug and it's like, I'm doing this just to get your reaction, see? And then the wife looks at the camera, looks at the camera and it's like, and closes to their eyes and they're like, oh. fools make a mock at sin. What, what, what kind of a, what kind of perverse mind thinks of such things. That's a rhetorical question because you and I as saints, we already know. But this is okay, huh? 
I'm being too serious. I'm being too serious. You're making a mock of sin, spitting in God's face. And for what? And for what? Entertainment. It's entertainment, man. Right? It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Go to Psalm 101. Psalm 101. Okay? Psalm 101. I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. I will behave myself wisely in the fear of the Lord in a perfect way. We cannot be sinlessly perfect. Of course not. A perfect way. Jesus Christ, he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by him. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Here, You want to walk in a perfect way? Here's the perfect way, the authorized version of the scripture. And no, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. And they, want to, they want to discover their own heart, and they trust in their own heart that they're, you're a fool. You're a fool. You're an absolute fool. And I'm going to say that, I'm going to be very blunt. You're a stupid idiot. Okay? Dude. 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 Okay? You you women out there. Uh, all right? How, how? How at the end of the day could you be like, oh, I love you. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's the same mentality of these people who allow their children to use F-bombs, the C word, and then they put them on YouTube and it's like, oh, it's so... I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. Oh, when wilt thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. Perfect way. Perfect heart. Behave myself wisely. Jesus Christ, he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by him. Here's the perfect way. It's, it's written down for you. Perfect heart. Trust in the scriptures completely. Mm -hmm. Your heart is perfect with the Lord. Sinless perfection is impossible while we're in this sagging skin suit. Okay? Verse 3. I will send... And, and, and God, God, don't send me anymore. <laughs> don't. Okay, I've had enough. I, I mean, the, the last one which kind of sparked this with the, the mannequin in the bed thing, it's like... And that's funny. You think that's funny. And then, and then the dude twists the uh, narrative and then has the wife feeling guilty for not trusting him when he, in deception, deceived his wife just to get the reaction. The impossible is possible with God. But when you have that kind of mentality, that's the mentality of our enemies, by the way. That kind of processing. Okay? That's our enemies. But, it, you know, you try to talk to these people or witness, I mean, and some of these channels that do this stuff have <laughs> millions, literally, millions of, of, of subscribers. Okay, it's like casting your pearls before swine with them. You know, like I said, if you go find any of these and you're, you're going to, you know, give them something, make sure you give them scripture. Make sure it's very good because the Lord's the one who's going to give it. And uh, don't expect it to be up for... <laughs> don't expect it to stay up. And <laughs> expect to be blocked. I couldn't respond. I couldn't respond. 
and then I go back, I refresh, and the comment was gone. And they, okay, okay, whatever, man. That's on you. That's on you. <laughs> Quote, you vile, disgusting, vomitous heathen. And, and brother overseas is like, Brad, you really did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did. I, I, and you're right, brother. I probably should not have called the individual a vile, vomitous, disgusting heathen. You are right. You are right. I should not have. I, and I won't make an excuse for that. I won't. It's a horrific thing. It's a horrific thing to think that it's okay for the sake of entertainment and jesting. Jesting. Not ingesting, jesting. Let's continue. Verse 3. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. Now we all, as saints, we, we get the gist of this. Okay. But see, when when you when you, when you waste your time scrolling upward and video after video, it's like, oh wow, look at all these people with like perfect complexions and and have these uh, fantasy lifestyles and all this stuff, and it's like, oh, and see when you see a video like one of these. What's being implanted? How are you being programmed? I that look at that guy's wife. That guy can get away with any kind of devilment and she still loves him and whatever. And then you look at yours, and it's like my wife gets on me if I leave the shoes out of place. Just an example. What happens? What happens? You begin to do contrary to scripture. Comparing yourselves among yourselves. Yourselves meaning I'm using it in context of mankind. Okay? Because I'm not supposed to compare myself to another brother and what the Lord has that other brother doing or not doing. Okay? I'm not. You know, like, like the Lord said to Peter. It's like, hey, don't worry what I got him doing. You follow me. And you go as I would have you. Don't, don't worry about him. He's, I got him doing his own thing with me. Don't you worry about it. You follow me. Okay? But see, the conditioning, the programming, okay, that's going on there. What is it? What is the psychology there? My life stinks in comparison to what I'm seeing. These people can have fun because they can do these grotesque pranks to each other. And yet, at the end of the day, they still love each other. And they're doing things that maybe even 20 years ago, maybe, maybe, maybe even 10 years ago, people would be like, ah! what is this? A forward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Whoso privily slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that hath a high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. And you reach out to some of these people who do these kinds of things. See, you know, with, it's like, dude, you're going to have to give an account to the one that you are blaspheming, to the one whom you're mocking in your cute little video that has almost 2 million views. Okay, you're going to give an account for that. Okay? <laughs> and the response, haughty, arrogant, prideful. You need to lighten up. No, you need to get saved. What kind of, what kind of a... You prankster people. What kind of a man are you? Oh, okay, you might you might see this. Come I kick your butt. Yeah, I'm sure you could. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> Whoop de do. <laughs> All right. Whoa, I'm so scared. Okay, but what kind of a man are you? What kind of man would, for entertainment's sake, 
subject their wife to such atrocity. See, you and I, saints, we were once that type of an individual. We were once that type of an individual. Hold your place, we're not done in um, we're not done in Psalm 101, but go to Ephesians 2. Okay? Go to Ephesians 2. Alright? We were once though that people. We were. We were once just like them. Maybe not as bad, but we were. We were once lost. Okay? Ephesians 2. Verses 1 on to verse 3. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Okay, there are even Christian prank videos. And and those, you dude, you come across those, you get on them guys like you you bombard them. It's like you wretched, you ugh. Don't be, you know, aggressive like I do. Okay. That's the Lord leaves you. I, I as you know, and as my enemies know, I, I, I can fly off the handle. But, where in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the, lowercase s of course, spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had, past tense, our conversation in times past in the lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. And, you know, we need to remind ourselves of what it says in 1 John chapter 2, 1 John chapter 2, okay, 15 on to verse 17, okay, Love not the world. You watch one of these prank videos, and then at the end of it, it's like, oh, it's, uh, that, that was pretty bad. But it did so, they're so cute. Oh, they're so in love. You, you show love to your spouse by humiliating them, degrading them, irritating them, aggravating them, so you can put them on YouTube? And that you you call that love? Oh wow, man! Wow, dude! Wow! You're crazy! You got rocks for brains! Okay, you got your head so far up a Twix Rome's buttocks, it's not even funny! You're you are. You people who are into that, you people who do that, you people are slaves. You people are slaves. You really are. <laughs> you, you really are. You really are. <laughs> love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father, capital F, of course, is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. And interestingly enough, some of these prank videos, not all of them, but some of these prank videos, the women are wearing, looking like whores. Uh, uh, the guys are looking, you know, eye candy to a woman and whatnot like that. Yeah, yeah. And always in these uh, luxurious kind of backgrounds or at least um, places that are better than what you have conveniently. Hmm? For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eye. And the pride of life is not of the world, is not of the Father, but is of the world. What happens? Looking at that man, that woman, fine. <laughs> I can't believe that dude did that to her. But at the, they love each other, they kiss each other, she looks like a whore, and they, oh, they, it's a, I want that. Right? Right? You wish. You're being programmed by the Jesuit order. Okay? You're being psychologically manipulated. Predictive programming. Okay? You are being programmed as if you are a Calvinistic robot. My life stinks in comparison. 
I want to have a relationship with a woman that I could treat like garbage. And yet at the end of the day, she loves me. And vice versa, you women. <laughs> vice versa, you women. Yeah? Yeah. The women that I've seen in some of these prank videos can actually outdo some of the guys. And some of the guys, when this happens, they're like devastated. And then she's like, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Woe unto them who call evil good and good evil. And the world passeth away. And the lust thereof. Like Ammon and Tamar. Who lustfully wanted his half-sister. But that, that, that Tamar, man. You talk about a woman of God. You talk about a woman of God. That, that woman. That, that fine woman. We have no idea really of what Tamar looked like, but what God says of her in his word, that, that you, if any of you saints got a Tamar type woman for, uh, as your help meet, you have been blessed beyond measure. You see, because a real woman, you know what a real woman does? A real woman loves you. And love is truth. A real woman who loves you, when you mess up, she's going to smack the back of your head. A real woman who loves you is going to secretly, it's like, Brad, you know, you said that in, like, yeah, at, the, at the store, you got a little uppity with that guy and kind of postured at him. You know, you shouldn't have done that. You know, okay? All right? That's love. Love is truth. Love is not saying evil is good and good is evil and then using sensuality as a replacement for true love. See, and that's that sensuality, earthly, sensual, devilish, okay? Senses, sensual, replacing love which is truth with sensuality. Now, some, there are some out there, go back to Psalm 101, there are some out there, who will, and of course, of course, they'll bring up the physicality that associates the extension of love in truth. Why is that? Because the enemy is all about that. Earthly, sensual, devilish. Like it says in Matthew chapter 16, verse 23. Okay, hold your, hold your place here again and go there. Okay, go there. I mean, brethren, we know this is happening. I mean, we know this. We, we get this, but it's like, dude. <laughs> dude. Matthew chapter 16, verse 23. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the, th the things that be of God, but those that be of men. Flesh. And every single prank video that I have unfortunately watched, it's all fleshly. Verse 6 in Psalm 101. Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. And who walks in a perfect way? The saints. They're not sinlessly perfect themselves, but walk in a perfect way. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. Then why are you watching them on YouTube? Huh? Dwell within your house. Huh? Huh? Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. yeah. Dwell within your house, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, you can even get rhythmic to it, couldn't you? He that worketh the seed shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth not lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. I'll admit, I saw that video. 
I watched that too. It was like 11 minutes or something like eight minutes, something like that. And I was haunted with that. It's like I, I was laying there in bed, you know, and it's like, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'll tell you what. I praise the Lord. I might not have a woman like that. Because I'll tell you. I'd rather die alone and childless than have a woman who's okay with me treating her as if she's garbage. Not that the woman be prideful or anything like that. No, 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 no. But you, you, you people, you pranksters out there who do these disgusting videos, okay? You, you guys have a strong, loving relationship, do you? Do you? Then why are you broadcasting your, your spouse's emotions when you antagonize them and treat them like garbage for all the world to see? You call that love. I call you sick in the head. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. And remember, context, context, context. Cut off does not always, is hardly always, a reference to killing someone. Okay? Just, just remember that. Just remember that. Okay? Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5. 1 on to 7. If, hey, if any, of you, if any of you two want to uh, link this video to you find one of these guys, I'll link this video to some of these people. Uh, they, they won't mind, but whatever. Go ahead. Go ahead. And if you're one of these pranking idiots, uh, you need to get saved. The Lord rebuke you. You're giving the perfect example of your father, the devil. Ephesians 5. Verses 1 on to verse 7. Be now... This is how saints are supposed to conduct themselves. Okay? Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love. And the love of Christ, the love given to us in Scripture, you know, remember, the Lord beheld the young, rich, uh, young ruler, and loving him, said... One thing thou lackest. And what did he do? He put his finger on that one thing. That's love. It's hatred. To don't scare them. Don't let, let them do it. You're being too extreme. A little won't hurt. That's hate. That is hate. Okay? And walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and hath given himself for us an offering us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becometh Christians. Saints! I've seen some of these Christian prank videos where the wife was dressed like a hua. Neither filthiness. Have a mannequin in your in your bed, letting your wife catch you in bed with a mannequin while recording the reaction. And then they jump on the bed. It's like I'm gonna tear this person apart. And then they see it's a mannequin. And then the, the husband's like, <laughs> I'm not gonna link the video. I'm not gonna show it. I, but. Lovers of their own, of them own selves, lovers of pleasures. But filthiness. Nor foolish, foolish, behaving as if you say in your heart there is no God. Nor jesting, which are not convenient. But all things are lawful for you. Right? But not all things edify. 
Unless you're a Calvinist whose who's God forces you to do things. Okay. Which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. Jesting. Hold on. Yes. Yes. I don't need to pause that. Jesting. Jesting. I know what jesting is, but I want to I share this with you. Jesting. Jesting. What does jesting mean? Uh, and as far as I'm aware, there's only one appearance in Scripture of jest or jesting. And it's right there in Ephesians 5 verse 4. Nor jesting. Okay? Jest. Jesting. From Webster's 1828 Dictionary. Jest. To divert or make merry by words or actions. To joke. Jest not with a rude man, lest thy ancestor... Wow, he's quoting the Apocrypha. Wow! Wow! Hey, you got the, you got the, you got the green one? Look at that. Ecclesiasticus. E-C-C-L-U-S. He's quoting Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sirach. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Yes, just not with a rude man, lest thy ancestors be disgraced. To utter in sport, sport, uh, sport. Uh, there, there is a video on the channel somewhere about that. Well, I'll never mind. To say what is not true merely for diversion, entertainment. A. Muse. Muse means to think. You put an A in front of it not to think. A. Theist. A. Muse. To play part in a mask. Shakespeare. Jester. A person given to jesting. Sportive talk and merry pranks. I think I know what I'm going to call this video now. He rambled up and down. This is Shakespeare too. With shallow jesters. That's Shakespeare too. One given to sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I speak English and sarcasm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, as a jester, I accost you, Swift. A buffoon. A Mary Andrew, a person formerly retained by princes to make sport for them. Jesting. Joking. Talking for diversion or merriment. Jesting, another one here. A joking, concise wit. Wit that consists in a trope, T-R-O-P-E, you can correct me later, brother, or verbal figure, in metaphorical sense of words, or in a double sense of the same word, or in similitude, or in similitude of sounding in different words, encyclopedia. All right, and we'll leave it at that. So, this, uh, talking for diversion or merriment. These people are jesters. Jesting. What say it to scripture? Neither filthiness nor foolish talking or jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For this ye know, no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater, hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no man deceive you with vain words. It's okay. You're being too extreme. You're too serious. A little doesn't hurt. Hey, I can believe they're received. I'm saved. I saved myself. So I can do it. Don't worry.
Let no man deceive you with vain words. Beware of philosophy and vain deceit. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. You hear the gospel one time and you're your own God and you reject it, you're a child of wrath, you're a child of disobedience. You in trouble, boy. Girl. Be not ye therefore for partakers with them. Hmm. I'll cleave to you, all right? And see, and what is it with these people? Romans 1, 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. And of course, the doctrine of reprobate thing, which was started with Calvinism, and also, uh, what's his name, um, uh, Sodomite guy, uh, Anderson, Stephen Anderson, also did, the, you know, that... They're like sodomites. Can't be saved because they've been given over to a reprobate mind. Uh, no. You want lies. You want to laugh at that grotesque stuff. You want that? God's like, okay, fine. There, <laughs> there you go. Here, I'll, I'll dump even more for you. There you go. Go, go. You want that? Go ahead. That's what that means. It doesn't mean that the Lord can't save them. Because... You saying that someone is impossible to save, that God cannot save them, that's heresy. The problem, the thing is that they go so far that they don't want to come back. Even on your deathbed, you, you're living your life as a, as a hey, dude, hey, you. Dear friend, you're fellowshipping with that devil again. You are really stupid. And I, I, I love you, I love you, but you're, you're spying with that devil shoveling, okay? You're stupid. You are stupid. And that guy's going to betray you and uh, make mock you again. He does it to everybody, but yet you're having fellowship with him again. You're stupid. What is wrong? Well, I know there's something wrong with your head. Uh, okay, whatever. But, dude, you're stupid. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, man, wake up. How, how can you trust that guy? Oh. Full of wonder. Full of wonder. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, Malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, departing from evil, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, they ain't ignorant, they know that they, what they doing ain't right, but they're going to have their cake and eat it too. Love is love. They that which com that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them, because misery loves company. Then you read Romans two one and three. Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judgest doest the same things. Don't judge people. Oh, for the love of Pete. <laughs> Hold on. But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. And thinkest thou this, O man, that judgest them which do such things and do it the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God? So see, you can't judge me. You can't. Oh, are oh, oh, you vain? Two lost people, okay, two lost people who are not saved, whose standard of truth and judgment comes from their own heart because they are their own God, okay? That's what that's a reference onto. 
They can't judge rightly because a lost sinner judging a lost sinner in things of righteousness, uh, of the construct of their own mind, uh, yeah, not, that's, that's what that's condemning. We as saints, we as saints, we judge ourselves by a perfect standard, hence we are to judge others by the same standard, the perfect standard, the scriptures, that we judge ourselves, okay? Paul talks about this in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 on to verse 5, okay? Paul is to go there, again, again. For me to write the same thing to you, unto you is not grievous. But for you, it is uh, whatever. That's in Philippians. <laughs> instead of, instead of uh, uh, Philippians 3, verse 1. Finally, my brethren. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous. But for you, it is safe. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the concision. Let uh, 1 Corinthians 4, verses 1 on 5 again. Let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. But with me it is a very small thing that I should be judged of you. <laughs> or of man's judgment. Yea, I judge not my own self. Why? Because he knew that our judgment as man is flawed. Okay, from the Garden of Eden. Ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Your eyes are open. Okay, yeah, you, you, you know what you're doing isn't good. But see, your standard of judgment is flawed because evil is good and good is evil. God's standard of judgment is perfect without error. That's what he's talking about. Okay, I judge not my own self. What does that mean? My, if I were to judge myself by my own standard, I'd be going to hell. I'd be lost. For I know nothing by myself. Yet I, am I not hereby justified. But he that judgeth me is the Lord. Yeah. And how does he judge you? Through the scripture. Through the scripture. Yes. Through the scripture. Okay, that doesn't mean that we as saints are to judge other ourselves and other people. No, no. And see, someone who's banking on the ignorance of people's knowledge of Scripture, wanting to justify their own wicked existence, their own sinful things that they're doing, will come to this and just glibly say it and be like, "Well, see, you can't do anything. You can't judge me." Well, you know, we are in a world of hurt, then, aren't we? For I know nothing by myself. Yet am I not hereby justified. But he that judgeth me is the Lord. I know nothing by myself. Again, he's like, I know my judgment. Is, even though Paul was a Pharisee and had impeccable morals, they were flawed. They were flawed. Because a lot of tradition was interjected there. And verse five, therefore judge nothing until judge nothing before the time, comma, until the Lord come, until you are saved. Because, like it says in Romans two, go yeah, go ahead, go ahead, live your life as like however you want, yeah. Because see, your standard of judgment, because you are your own God, is flawed. So, therefore, judge nothing before the time until the Lord come, until that individual is saved, who will both, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness. Wait a minute. You mean what I was doing all those all that time was wrong? <laughs> it was sin? <laughs> oh boy. Who will both bring? Who will? Who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the heart? And then shall every man have praise of God. The counsels of the heart. You want, you, you, and you saints know this, uh, you, you want the rundown, you want the gist of what's in every man's heart. Isaiah 14. 
verses 13 and 14. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. That's why we can't really reach these people, <laughs> brethren. Okay? 1 Timothy chapter 1. Not Nehum. 1 Timothy chapter 1. First Timothy chapter 1, verses 9 on to 11. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. Yeah, the law was there to show you what sin was. To show you the perfect standard of God. And guess what? Man can't keep it. We, we've talked about that in many videos, okay? Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for mans manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, like sodomites, for men stealers, for, per for liars, for perjured persons, liars. Uh, when these prank people, these jesters, are doing their pranks they're lying well I mean, you are telling them something that is not true for the sake of entertainment making your spouse the butt of the joke for all the world to see these people have no idea and they laugh all along the way. <laughs> you see this very mentality in the free gracers. This very thing that I'm discussing with you is evident in virtually all the free gracers. Virtually. The one that I respect, the, uh, the one of them that I actually do respect at all, um, at least tries to put on a facade that is not like that. But in all free gracers. This kind of thing is in them. And they're hiding it with the shoe of religiosity. And nowadays, so are these King James Bible believing Christians. Uh, I am a saint who believes the scriptures. Don't you dare. Don't you dare especially with what it is today. Don't you dare yoke me up with these King James Bible-believing Christians. I'm a saint who believes the authorized version. I'm a saint who believes the scriptures. I want nothing to do with that denomination. Thank you. Thank you very little. For whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men-stealers, for liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, according to the God, uh, to, according to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust. You can read on your own time Ephesians 5, 22 on to verse uh, 33, about how a man is to treat his wife. Now see, some of these people aren't married. But see, the teaching is how man is to treat woman and how woman is to treat man. Okay? That is in context. Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5. Verses 22 on to verse 33, the close of Ephesians 5. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Key thing. If you're a saint and you're a sister... For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church and the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in some things. Every thing. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. This is in context to two saints, 
a man and a wife in the bond of in the yoke of marriage. Absolutely. But beyond that, it tells you that you as a man, when you come across a woman, okay, she's not your wife, but you are to have that at least common decency for a woman. And women, you know, who are supposed to be at home, okay, who are supposed to be at home, keepers at home, okay, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not with having not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that, excuse me, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. And you look at some of these prank videos of these married people. Not saved. Not saved. But so ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. Now granted, I, there's, I've seen these Christian prank videos. The, the, give, you give me a break. The Lord would not. The Lord is not for that. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord is not okay with you Christian little prank videos. The Lord rebuke you. But see, in the context of marriage, that's my flesh out there. The two, the twain, shall be one flesh. Yes, that's in context to the physicality. But it's more than that. My wife is my flesh. I am her husband. I am her flesh. Okay? And I'm to love her like I love myself. And with these people who do these prank videos... <laughs> For no man ever yet, oh, uh, wait, wait, yeah. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord's church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. And how, boy, you must really hate yourself if you're going to be doing that kind of stuff to your spouse, your wife, or your husband. Yeah. Yeah, and of course, 1 Peter chapter 3, and see... Women be like, well, the scriptures, God's against women. No. Who is deceived in the Garden of Eden? First Peter 3, this is 1 under verse 7. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives while they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear, whose adorning let it not be the, that outward adorning of plating of the hair and wearing of apparel and wearing of gold or of putting on of apparel. Eye candy. Eye candy. Like I've told you before, I've met many women, fine looking women, who look beautiful. Talk to them. And the, the fecal matter comes out of their mouth. Ugh. Sorry for that graphicness. But, yeah. but let it be the hidden man of the heart. Hey. Who's the hidden man of the heart for the saint? I'll let you figure that one out. And you saints already know that. But let it be the hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, 
which in the sight of God, which in the sight of God, which is in the sight of God of great price. For after this manner, in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in God adorned themselves, being in subjection unto their own husbands, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well, and are not afraid with any amazement. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. She's your own flesh. She is the weaker vessel. Even though some women out there can beat up a man physically, she's still the weaker vessel. And how are you being a loving husband? When, when you're subjecting your wife to these kinds of atrocities, But what is it? But what is it? But what it? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jeremiah 6. One verse. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 15. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay. Nay. They were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore they shall fall among them that fall. At the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down. Psalm 94. Let's, let's finish this video with the psalm. Psalm 94. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth. O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, shew thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Yeah, they flaunt it. They're proud, they're proud of their sin. They're proud of their disobedience. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? Remember, our Lord is long-suffering. Who will be saved today who wasn't saved yesterday? Even though we're like, come on, Lord, keep that in your mind. And also, as the brother would mention, it's like also making and giving these guys more rope to dig their hole deeper. Amen. Amen, brother. How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the, wor wicker, all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. I've even seen sodomite couples who, you know, on YouTube who do the same thing. It's like, wow, that's a double oxymoron there, isn't it? They break in pieces thy people, O Lord, and afflict thine inheritance. Yeah, because we see these things. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. How do they do that? By giving you a false reality, so you, in your heart, want to lust after what your eyes see, that is of the world and is of Satan. Yet they say, the Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Where's your God, huh? Where's your God? There is no God. I am my own God. Yeah, right. Good luck, pal. You'll find out. Understand ye brutish among the people, and ye fools, when will ye be wise? Fear the Lord. You fools who say in your heart there is no God. He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formeth the eye, shall he not see? Oh, you wicked, filthy people, you think you're getting away with something? You think, it, you, you think it's cute to have a little five-year-old cussing like a, a sailor with F-bombs? Oh, it's so cute. Let's put him on YouTube. 
Oh, my wife is devastated because she thought I was cheating on her. Oh, it's a mannequin. But I put her reaction for everyone to laugh at. He that chastiseth the heathen, shall not he correct? He that teacheth man knowledge, shall not he know? Oh, you people. You wicked people. The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. You don't know what that means? Look it up yourself. Contrast. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, Lord, O Lord, and teachest him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity, until the pit be digged for the wicked. Like you like you said, brother, you know, he's like giving them the, their rope to dig it even deeper for themselves. For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return on the righteousness. And all the upright in heart shall follow him. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I said, My foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Lord, held me up. In the multitude of thy thoughts within me, thy comforts delight my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? Therefore come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Throne of iniquity, the little G God of this world. Want your cake and eat it too, huh? Which frameth mischief by a law. They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. You're a bigot. You're narrow-minded. You're full of hate. Uh, I'm telling you the truth of Scripture. If I hated you, I wouldn't say a blasted word to you. And that's what Christianity does. They don't tell you the truth. They pacify you, make you feel good in your sin, and have your cake and eat it too, and just believe and receive. But the Lord is my defense, and my God is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity. The fear of the wicked will come upon them, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord our God shall cut them off. Sooner or later, brethren, sooner or later, it's going to be it. This this is an impromptu video. I like I said. I, I you know. Please don't send me anymore. Please don't. I'm done. Okay. I'm done. Don't stop. Stop. <laughs> Alto. Okay. Please. Por favor. Okay. Per favor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please. But um. You know you you people make a mock sin. And do this to people you love. You let us reason together. You're going to hell, boy. You're going to hell, and you're going to burn forever, unless you turn from your own self and turn to the Lord. You can't give up your sins, even if you tried, and that's not a requirement. You got to you got to turn from your own self. You're not good. Certainly what you're subjecting, the one that you claim to love, isn't good either. Be careful what you put before your eyes. Thank you very much. Please keep us in your prayers, brethren. If you need help, please keep us in your prayers. We love you. Thank you for your prayers. To uh, my brethren who I have not talked to for a while, please forgive me. I love you. You are not out of my prayers. You are not forgotten. You got stuff going on. I love you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.